நாராயணம் நமஸ்கிருத்து நரஞ்சைவன் அரோத்தமம் தேவீம் சரஸ்வதியும் வாஜம் ததோ ஜெயம் உதீரே ஜதம்தே புண்டரீ காட்ச நமஸ்தே விஸ்வபாவன நமஸ்தேஸ்து ஹிருஷிகேஷ மகாபுருஷ பூர்வஜ சதக்ஷரம் பிரம்ம ஏஈஸ்வர புமான் குணோர்மி சிருஷ்டி ஸ்திதி கால சல்லய பிரதான புத்தியாதி ஜகத் பிரபஞ்சசூஹூ சனோஸ்து விஷ்ணு மதிபூதி முக்தி தஹ யாரணம் காரியம் காரணசாபி காரணம் காரியசாபி யாரியம் பிரசீதத்து சனோஹரி காரிய காரியசிய யாரியம் தத் காரியசாபி யம் தத் காரிய காரியூத்தோ யணதாஸ்மதம் காரணம் காரணசாபி தரண காரணம் தத் காரணம் ஹேத்தும் தாம் பிரணதாஸ்ம சுரேஸ்வரம் பிரம்மா இஸ் அட்ரெஸிங் விஷ்ணு தே ஹவ் ஸ்டில் நாட் சீன் விஷ்ணு ஆன் த ஓஷன் but uh, they are uh, doing a stotram to vishnu so that he will appear and uh, uh, give them all a darshanam so that uh, they can proceed they they can ask him for a solution to the situation here uh, indra has lost all of his wealth because of durvasa's shapam so this is brahma's stuti that is going on uh, in these three shlokas um, he talks of how vishnu is of the form of everything that you can think of as a source yadyat karanam vartate tat sarvam api karana roopena vishnu eva bhavati yatyat karya roopena vartate tat sarvam api vishnu eva so anything that is the karyam that is the effect of that has been created from something that is also vishnu anything that is the source is also vishnu காரணம் காரணசாபி ஈவன் இஃப் யூ திங்க் தட் மாயா இஸ் தி அல்டிமேட் சோர்ஸ் ஃபார் எவ்ரி திங் இன் திஸ் வேர்ல்ட் ஹி இஸ் த காரணம் ஃபார் தட் ஹி இஸ் தி அதிஷ்டானம் ஃபார் மாயா டூ தரி காரணானாம் சர்வானாம் அப்படி சக ஏவ ஹேத்துதையா வர்த்தி ஸோ இன் கன்க்ளூஷன் போக்தாரம் போஜ்யூதம் சிரஷ்டாரம் சிரஷ்டமேவ காரியம் கர்மஸ்வரூபம் தம் பிரணதாஹாஸ்ம பரம் பதம் bhoktaram one who enjoys everything that has been created bhojya bhutam cha and that which is being enjoyed srashtaram one who creates everything srishtam eva cha that which is being created karyam karma swarupam cha karyam is the final action that has been created and then karma swarupam is the action that has been undertaken to create something all of these is of the form uh, vishnu is uh, of the form of all of this so tam bhoktaram vayam pranatasmaha bhojya bhutam cha saha eva tam pranatasmaha we bow to him who is the enjoyer who is the bhokta bhokta here would mean the jeevan uh, uh, who who enjoys everything that has been created bhojya bhutam is that which has been uh, which is uh, to be enjoyed by the jeeva because here it is srishtam is that which has been created srashtaram is one who creates one who enjoys is the bhokta jeevaha that which is being enjoyed is also vishnu karyam karma swarupam cha karma is the act of making a karyam uh, uh, doing a padartha let's say and he is the karma swarupam so this is in a very general manner that i am saying karyam and karma here also means it indicates the daivam drishtavasham so adrishtavasham that which is uh, the fate that we say which becomes a karma for us in the form of papam or punyam and the uh, 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 the result that that papa or punya makes us do is the karyam the action that gives us the papam and punyam and because of that papa punyam the effect that we realize all of these are vishnu so tam parampadam pranatasmaha we go to that ultimate sthanam which is vaikuntham and vishnu is not not different from the sthanam that he is so when we think of kailasa we even think of doing a namaskaram to the mountain itself because we do not see a difference between the one who resides there and the mountain itself there is an daivamsha for everything uh, uh, the, that the daiva resides in right even the entire world even a small object in this world we find a divinity in it 
that's the way we look at things here so tam param padam pranatasmaha we do a namaskaram to this great place where uh, vishnu sanidhyam is supposed to be vishuddham bodhanam nityam ajam akshayam abhyayam abhyaktam avikaram yat tad vishnu paramam padam what is this param padam that has been said here tat vishnu ho paramam padam iti uchyate yat that sthanam vaikuntham or the goal vishnu is the goal here and it is of the form of vishuddham it is very shuddham it does not have the uh, maya gunaha sattva rajas tamo atmakaha gunaha tasmin na santi iti karanat tat padam tu vishuddham vartate bodhanam bodhanam gnana swarupam it is of the form of knowledge nityam eternal uh, um, trikala abadhyatvam it is not a position that will go off tomorrow Uh, as or uh, uh, vishnu will no longer be a vishnu and then another vishnu tatha nasti indrasya vishaye tu vartate eva indrasya padam tu it is uh, anityam anybody can come to that sthanam uh, you don't know na who shall took up that position at one point right so nityam it is eternal ajam at the same time it was not created by someone it is not born from somewhere akshayam it does not get destroyed avyayam it cannot be divided into parts avyaktam avikaram avyaktam it is not manifested everybody cannot see that padam vishnu ho padam uh, nobody can see that paramam padam uh, and it is the unmanifest form so the manifested form are all these worlds uh, if we say that there is this temple where it is a vishnu's temple it is a manifest form of the vishnu's temple but there is a vaikuntha padam which is unmanifested which is avyaktam avikaram Uh, there, and there is no change to it only that which has a change will get destroyed yadyat vikriyate tattattu nasyate eva tasmat atra vikara rahitatvam uchyate so tad vishnu of paramam padam na sthulam na cha sukshmam enna visheshana gocharam tad padam paramam vishnu ho pranamamaha sada amalam yat padam na sthulam it's not a huge place neither or it is not a gross place that we can see nor is it sukshmam that we can understand through our mind so it is beyond our comprehension enna visheshana gocharam visheshana gocharam is a very uh, unique uh, way of saying it that is let's say you have a couple of objects there are many books if i want to point out one particular book to you i will use a visheshana adjective i will use an adjective will feature to describe exactly what book i want tatra sthulam pustakam asti athava neela sthula pustakeshu bahuni pustakani api santi tatra sthulani pustakani tatra api neela you know neela varna yuktam pustakam anaya idu so that neelam becomes a visheshanam something that is Uh, um, uh, that comes within the range of adjectives and we can understand it we may not know certain objects but we can come to know about those objects if we have certain adjectival features in our mind tari uh, then you can also explain uh, vaikuntham or vishnu of paramam padam with the, these visheshanas right but that is not possible is what he says yet na visheshana gocharam that which does not come within the range of these visheshanas um with uh, adjectival features tat padam paramam vishnuho pranamamaha now that uh, uh, vishnu's paramam padam sada amalam that which is also very pure without mala mala rahitam malam here does not mean any dirt or anything but it is the trigunam maya maya rahitam tad vishnuho paramam padam pranamamaha so brahma looks at the ultimate uh, uh, brahma swarupam and he uh, shows his offers his salutations to that uh, vishnu yasya ayuta ayuta amsha amshe vishvashakti hi iyam sthita param brahma swarupam yat pranamamaha tam avyayam yasya yasya vishnoh athava yasya brahmanah paramatmanah ayuta ayutamsha amshe 
So his ayuta ayuta amshe itupe ayutam is a number. It is a specific number. Okay, like ten uh, thousand or uh, maybe something more than that, million or some some number of zeros are there behind that one. When you say ayutam, you go on as dasha sahasram etc. etc. This is a particular uh, uh, number here. Okay, uh, I can check and tell you what it is exactly. Ayuta is ten thousand. Ha. Huh, okay. It is ten thousand. Ayuta, 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 amsham. So ten thousand, ten thousands. You will have to put uh, uh, three, four zeros behind that. So ten thousand into ten thousand here. So ayuta sya, ayuta ayuta sya, amsha sya, amsha ha. So ayuta ayuta sya, ayuta amsha ha. It took one ten thousand, one by ten thousand, one percent of. That uh, not even one percent. Sorry, one by ten thousandth amsha of ayutam ten thousand. Sure, I can't even imagine how to give this in numbers. So tasya amshe vishva shakti hi iam stita. Now what does he try trying to say here? Vishnu ho shakti hi to let's say it is x. Now the in that the maya amsham is ayuta ayuta amsham one over ten thousand into ten thousand. That is Maya Shakti, huh? Uh, correcta. Tasya Amshe. In that one part is Vishwa Shakti. So Maya yaha sampurna Shaktiya atra Vishwam na utpaditam. Maya yaha Amshe eva Vishwasya Shakti hi asti. So imagine the power of Vishnu there. So Vishnu is X. Then X by ten thousand or ten thousand into ten thousand is Maya. Tatrapi, there is one only one percentage of it. Amsham is Vishwa Shakti, the power that is needed to create this world and whatever power is existing in this world. Iam sthita param Brahma Swarupam yathu. So that which has only a portion of it as Vishwa Shakti, that para Brahma Swarupam abhyam that which cannot be uh, separated and said. Like in infinity, if you take a portion of an infinity, uh, have you actually divided that infinity and taken out a portion? No. So it still remains avyayam. It cannot be divided and it cannot be broken up into parts there. Right? So tadrasham parabrahma swarupam param pranamamaha. We go to that parabrahma swarupa. Yet in a devaha, a munayaha, Nachaham, Nachashankaraha, Jananti Parameshya, Tadvishno, Paramam Padam. That which even devas do not know about it, Munayaha, Munis, sages do not know, Aham, Brahma does not know, Shankaraha does not know, Tadrishasya Vishno, Paramam Padam, Parameshya, Vishno, that inner controller who is the uh, controller of everything, Tad Parameshya, uh, uh, Vishno, Paramam padam jananti na jananti. So yet that which is Vishnu ho paramam padam, that which devas do not know, know that as the ultimate padam of Vishnu. Anvesto atra katham bhavati chete yet devaha muna devaha na jananti muna yaha na jananti aham na janami Shankara ha apina janati tatu. Parameshasya Vishnu ho param padam. Iti jani hi. So you'll have to understand that this is the paramam padam of Vishnu, which devas do not know, sages do not know, I do not know, Shankara also does not know about it. Okay. Uh, Yatu yoginaha sada udyuktaha papa punya kshaye akshayam pasyanti pranave chintyam tad Vishnu of paramam padam. So tad Vishnu of paramam padam, this is. Again, this is the Vishnu's Paramam Padam is described in this manner. Yet that which Yoginaha Sada Udyuktaha, Yogi, uh, uh, one who uh, uh, practices this Upasana Margam, they are forever Udyuktaha. They are always aware or they want to uh, understand this Padam. So, yet that uh, Sada Udyuktaha Yoginaha. Papa Punyakshaye Akshayam Papa Punyakshaye Pranave Papa Punyakshaye Akshayam Pranave Chintyam Iti Pashyanti Tatu Yeva Vishnoho Paramampada. That concept which yogis who are 
always ever awake and they are doing meditation sada utyuktaha those yogis who are constantly in that meditative mode they see this concept and that is called vishnu of paramam padam what is that it is equal to pranavam so pranave chintyam pranave in that omkara omkaram is both a symbolic representation it is a sound representation it is a script representation of paramatma so pranave chintyataya yat vartate tat vishnoho paramam padam they see it as uh, uh, that which has to be thought about inside the omkara pap punya kshaye api akshayam even when when you when the uh, uh, balance of papam and punyam that is there when the credit is that is there that you have accumulated of both papam and punyam when that gets destroyed both of them have to get destroyed punyatnala moksham kadakirathu illa you don't get moksha because of punyam no both punyam should also go to zero papam should also go to zero then you will get an uh, the, that which seems to be something as Uh, non destructive akshayam that which does not get destroyed that padam is called that state is called vishnu padam that is moksha so yogis think of this uh, moksham and or vishnu or vaikuntham in the pranavakaram so pranave chintyam pashyanti they think of it as something that has to be meditated upon inside the omkara they also know that this cannot be destroyed when papam and punyam gets destroyed this is the indestructible tattvam that they understand which is moksha okay so yet idella vandu uh, i am reminded of the surya shatakam shlokam which is just very simple which shows the differences between how you look at a murti no jyotistha uh, dvit prakaram there are two forms of surya that you see one is something that is in front of you pratyaksham the other is paroksham so when you say pratyaksham uh, whatever is the karanam karyam tat sarvam yat purvasmin shloke uktam uh, athava uh, purvasmin varge yadyat uh, asmabhi patitam tat sarvam tu pratyaksha rupena vishnu vartate iti so pratyaksham yat paroksham that which is something beyond the indriyas is what is being described here pratyaksham yat paroksham jagati katipaye yogino yad vidanti Uh, this is this shlokam is there in surya shatakam so i'm just quoting that here to show that you know how people see it is the same yogino yad vidanti only some people understand that moksha swarupam kada tamil la vindavar kandilai kandavar vindilai the one who is experienced cannot talk about it the one who talks about it has definitely not experienced it but idella enna na this is something that we try to understand this is these puranas take us closer to what it could be okay shaktayo yasya devasya correct ah shaktayo yasya devasya brahma vishnu shivadikaha bhavanti abhuta purvasya tad vishnu paramam padam yasya devasya brahma vishnu shivadikaha shaktayah bhavanti yasya abhuta purvasya devasya for the whichever god who is abhuta purvasya that god who is bhuta purvam nasti that is he was uh, abhuta how do i say that actually shridhar swami has a nice explanation for that hmm yasya shaktayah abhuta purvasya yeah na bhutah kaschit uh, पूर्वः इति न भूतः कश्चित् पूर्वः यस्मात् अनादेहे इत्यर्थः अभूत पूर्वस्य देयर वाज नथिंग दैट एक्झिस्टेड बिफोर हिम तस्मात् पूर्वम् यस्मात् पूर्वम् किमपि न भूतम् देयर वाज नथिंग दैट वाज एक्झिस्टिंग इवन बिफोर हिम व्हिच मींस ही इज द पर्सन who who is the primary source for everything else he did not have another resource hence he is anadi there is no adi for him there is no starting point for him which means there was nothing else that existed before him he was the only one who existed when nothing else was there so abhuta purvasya tasya devasya tadanantaram maya aasit 
तस्य त्रय तिस्र शक्त देर आर थ्री शक्ति फॉर दट अनादि देवता दोस् थ्री शक्ति आर् ब्रह्म विष्णु एंड शिव ब्रह्म विष्णु शिवादिका शक्त नाट ओनली दीज थ्री दिस इज फॉर् सृष्टि स्थिति एंड लयन रेट देर आर् अदर शक्ति आलो Uh, which come into play like uh, indra is the shakti for parjanyam for vrishti uh, agni is for uh, uh, creating uh, uh, heat and everything so each devata has a specific shakti that is associated with him but all of these shaktis are part of that deva that uh, brahma sutad vishnu of paramam padam sarvesha sarvabhutatman sarva सर्वाश्रय अच्युत प्रसीद विष्णु भक्ता व्रजनो दृष्टिगोचर नौ हि इज कमिंग टू अ कंक्लूशन टू द स्त्रोत्र हि सेज हे सर्वेश वन हू इज द ईशा कंट्रोलर ऑफ एव्रीबडी सर्वभूत आत्म सर्वूतेषु अंतरियामित विद्यम सर्वात्मकतया सर्वूपतया विद्य सर्वाश्रय सर्व यश्रीय हि इज द रेफ्यूज फॉर एव्रीथिंग He is of the form of everything, and he is the inner controller of every Bhuta Rashi, Achyuta, one who does not move away from his position, which is Nityatvam, one who cannot be destroyed, Achyuta, Chuta na velagardhi nartho, one who does not move away from his position or his uh, 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 the the nature. He Vishnu, but Prasida, you must be pleased. Uh, become pleased with our stotram bhaktanam nah uh, drishti gocharam vraja come within the range of perception of us devotees that is show show yourself to us iti udiritam makarnya brahmanah tridashah tatah pranamya uchuh prasideti vrajano drishti gocharam next is deva stuti first is brahma stotram then the devas uh, uh, praise vishnu here so iti उदीरित ब्रह्मण उदीरित आकर्ण्य आफ्टर हियरिंग व्हाट ब्रह्मा हेज सेड त्रिदशा द देवस प्रणम्य आफ्टर बोविंग ऊचु दे सेट द फॉलोइंग प्रसीद इति ऊचु दे सेट द फॉलोइंग दे सेट प्रसीद बी प्लीस्ड ओ लॉर्ड नह दृष्टिगोचर व्रज यू हैव टू Uh, uh, show us yourself so come within the range of perception gochara is drishti drishti is eyesight gocharam is uh, 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 the the gona indriyam gochara means range of perception you will have to come within that so which means show me, show us yourself yennayam bhagavan brahma janati paramam padam tannata asma jagad dhama tava sarvagata achyuta तव जगद्धाम नता स्म यत अय भगवान् ब्रह्म यत परम पदम अय भगवान् ब्रह्म न जानाति दैट फाइनल सी दे आर स्टैंडिंग इन द उत्तर तीरम ऑफ क्षीराब्दी एंड द क्षीराब्दी इज द पदम ऑफ द हाउस फॉर विष्णु राइट दैट इज द परम पदम दैट इज आलसो वैकुंठम पियर सो there are other uh, things where you say vaikuntham is beyond the brahmandam it is not in the kshirabdi there are so many different uh, uh, things that you will find in uh, puranas but here kshirabdi just as how we think that the temple is where the swami is vishnu is present there and we, there is a sannidhyam of vishnu there in the same way in a higher level for the devas he shows himself as being present in the kshirabdi for him to come there you will have to so he is not always present there okay it is just the kshirabdi that is there in front of them for him to show up himself these devas and brahma and everybody have to pray and call him so that he comes there vishnu has to see the, their eagerness and then he will show himself so yat i am brahma bhagavan brahma na janati that paramam padam that final resting place which uh, uh, you final resting place illa adena paramam padam his uh, sthanam abinne eduthukuren paramam padam sonna da nanna irukku the the place of vishnu which brahma also does not know tava jagadham uh, this position that you show in this world there is a vaikuntham beyond all of this 
but the dhama position that you show for us in this world jagat dhama or he jagat dhama one who who is the substratum of the entire world tava he sarvagata one sarvavyapi uh, achyuta vayam nataha smaha okay we uh, uh, pray to you iti ante vachasastesham so they their uh, praying is very short because brahma has said so many things and uh, so the devas just uh, end with one shloka here ityante vachasastesham devanam brahmanastata uchuhu devarshayah sarve brahma brihaspati purogamah iti tesham devanam uh, ante brahmanah cha uh, vachasa vachasah ante so iti das tesham devanam vachasah ante at the end of the words of those devas and brahma devarshayah brihaspati purogamah the de divine sages brihaspati and others spoke uchuhu now this is the rishis stotra adyo yagyapumanidyo yas sarvesham cha purvajah tam natasma jagat srishtuhu srishtaram avisheshanam adya purushah he is the first puman purusha who is responsible for the creation yagya puman just as how we had the yagya varaha description uh, in the same way yagya puman one who who came out of the yaga if you look at purusha suktam uh, uh, they they used purushas every limb to create a certain thing it is a huge uh, homam from which all of these things were created so he is the purusha who is of the form of yagna whose different parts are the yagnanga bhuta any parts of the yagna are found in his body uh, so he is called as yagna purusha athava yagna puman idya one who is worthy of praising he is the only person who has to be praised here sarvesham cha purvajah because he is the eldest of all bhuvanair natopi idilo avaru shishupala vadathla i think you are reading now uh, yudhishthirar vande when he is uh, uh, welcoming krishna uh, krishna will fall at the feet of yudhishthira anga vande shishupa magha uses the word bhuvanair natopi even though he is a person who is uh, uh, being saluted who is being bowed down by the entire world still in that avatara yudhishthira is purvaja agraja tasmat karanate he comes and falls at the feet of yudhishthira there ahara describe me tam natasma jagat srashtuhu srashtaram the creator of the creator one who has created brahma avisheshanam one who does not have any distinguishing features because only if there are two of the same object you need a distinguishing feature to say to separate that from the other there is only one narayana and he is the ultimate here so avisheshanam he does not have any other distinguishing feature tam natasma we bow to him adyo yagya puman idya yah sarvesham cha purvajah tam natasma jagat srashtu srashtaram avisheshanam bhagavan bhuta bhavyesha jagan murti dhara abhyaya prasida pranatanam tvam sarvesham dehi darshanam sarvesham dehi darshanam give a darshanam for everybody tvam Uh, dehi darshanam so you have to give a darshanam for everybody uh, pranatanam prasida prasida be pleased with all those people us who have done a namaskaram to you he bhagavan bhuta bhavya e isha one who is the isha controller of both the past and the future bhuta bhavya bhavannatah idile vishnu sasarnamatla bhavann is vartamana kalasya api sayeva ishvarah iti Inge, the, there is no vartamana kala here so bhuta bhavya isha but what is the vartamana kalam here jagat murti dhara jagat yat vartamanataya vidyate asmakam uh, uh, you know akshnav puraha so that which is present in the in front of us is the vartamana kalam which is jagat so jagat murti dhara one who Uh, uh, bears the weight of this entire form of this world so jagan murti dhara avyaya avyaya again is we cannot uh, there is no uh, destruction for him uh, prasida pranatanam uh, uh, tvam sarvesham asmakam pranatanam darshanam dehi give us all your darshana esha brahma 
तथैव अयम् त्रिलोचनः सह सहरुद्रैस् त्रिलोचनः सर्वादित्ये समं पूषा पावकोयम् सह अग्निभिः दिस कनेक्ट्स विद दैट दे विद द थर्ड श्लोक 64थ श्लोक प्रणाम प्रवणानाथ दैत्य सैन्य पराजिताः शरणं त्वाम अनुप्रपन्नाः वी हैव ऑल कम इन रेफ्यूज टू यू सो के के एषः ब्रह्मा दिस ब्रह्मा अयम् त्रिलोचनः रुद्रैः सह Rudraihi saha along with the other ten Rudras, Trilochanaha, Shiva also. Sarva Adityaihi samam Pusha, Surya along with the other eleven Adityas. Pavakaha along with Agni, Pavakaha Agni, Agni Bhagavan along with the other Agnis. Each one has their own different categories there. Right? They have all come here, assembled here. Ashvinau, Vasavahacha, Ime, Ashvinau, Ashvini Devatau, Vasavaha, Ime, of uh, these eight vasus sarvecha ete marudganaha marut are seven in total or seven into seven 49 marudganas are also there so uh, both uh, versions are there in puranas so these marudganaha vayu uh, the different uh, um, categories of vayus are also there sadhyaha sadhya is a type of being vishve devaha vishve tatha devaha vishve devaha is another pitra devatas uh, Devendraha, Indra, I am, I am Ishwaraha. Devendrascha, I am Ishwaraha. This Ishwara, which is, he, he is the controller of the three worlds. Trilokyasya Ishwaraha, Yeshaha, Devendraha, Api, uh, Atra Sharanam Agataha, Tyandrayaha. Okay. So they are, the rishis are just enumerating and saying, see, all these devas have come here. Brahma has come. Trilochana, Vishiva is here. You know, Surya, Pavakaha. Sarve ete atra santiti. Pranama pravanaha natha. They are pravanaha kushalaha. They know how to do pranama very well. So they are very uh, well versed in doing pranama. He natha. Daitya sainya parajitaha. But now they have been defeated by the armies of asuras. Daitya sainya parajitaha. Sharanam Tvam Anuprapanna Anupraptaha Samastaha Devataganaha. All of these Devataganas that I have enlisted till now have all come here Anupraptaha as, uh, uh, to you as a refuge. Tvam Anupraptaha. Sharanam Tvam Iti Anupraptaha. Parashara Vacha Evam Samstuyamanastu Bhagavan Shankha Chakra Dhriku Jagama Darshanam Tesham Maitreya Parameshwara. Parameshwaraha. He Maitreya. Prashara at this point, he says, so their stotram finishes with that. The Rishi's two, three shlokas are over. Evam samstu yamanaha, being uh, praised in this manner. Bhagavan, shankha chakra dhrik, one who carries both the shankha and chakram. Tesham uh, parameshwaraha, he is the ultimate uh, devata. And Tesham uh, darshanam jagama, he came in front of them. So he gave them his darshanam. Tam drishtva te tada devaha shankha chakra gada dharam apurva rupa samsthanam tejasam rashi murjitam. They see him as devaha tada tam drishtva. Deva saw him at that point. Whom did they see? Tam iti sarvatra dvitiya vibhakti hi dvitiya vibhakti padam to atra tam ityasya visheshanataya. So shankha chakra gada dharam. One who is having the shankha chakra and gada. Apurva rupa samsthanam. He has a rupa samsthanam. Amaipun artho. Samsthanam na. Everybody is older than the form that is there in them. The way the form has been arranged in him. It is very apurvam. It is unique. That is Vishnu has a form that is very unique and it cannot be copied. Nobody can resemble him in any manner. So he has a very unique and beautiful form. Apurva rupa samsthanam. Tejasam Rashim, he was like a heap of Tejas, uh, luster, brilliance. Urjitam, 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 powerful. Urjasana, uh, strength. Okay, one who, who is extremely powerful and he had a very different uh, form and he was looking like a, uh, a Tejas, Tejo Rashi. Okay. Tam drishtva. Tam drishtva pranamya pranataha purvam sankshobas timita ikshanaha tushtubuhu pundari kaksham pitamaha purogamaha. 
now till now he had not appeared now he had appeared after seeing him they have to do another stotram because it is a ore madri irukku nenikada inga to think of it like that but imagine you you have been fervently wishing for something to arrive something to come at the moment that it arrives in front of you you will be overcome with emotion and you will uh, describe it you know or you will describe the process of it uh, that's what is happening here so pranamya after doing a namaskaram pranataha santaha those devas were constantly doing a namaskara that is they were with bowed head pranataha sankshobha stimita ikshanaha so their ikshana their eyes were stimitam completely they they had stopped their sankshobha uh, uh, twitching even their twitching was not there for their eyes animeshaha eva they do not have a they do not blink but then even a little twitch was not there in their eye and they were constantly looking at uh, vishnu here pundari kaksham tushtuvu uh, uh, they praised stotram akurvanna pundari kaksham one who has uh, eyes like lotus pitamaha purogamaha devaha pranataha santaha they praised him okay we will start from deva uchuhu next class नारायण नमस्कृत नरंजीव नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती वाचम तत्व जय मुदीरयत